Despite the companies behind Google becoming more and more evil as every day passes, you gotta admit that some of the products that they create seem to work pretty well. I mean, the Google search engine, for example, it's still pretty good for finding information about most things. Uh, YouTube is still a pretty good source for videos to consume, especially thanks to the YouTube algorithm, because now you don't even have to really search for entertainment or think about what you wanna watch. YouTube is just gonna serve stuff up to you. Like, it's kinda like being these cows here that are just being fed inside. You know, they're just eating from the algorithm. They don't have to think, they just consume, and maybe they get milk from time to time and then these cows here you see they're browsing for stuff to consume they're being conscious they're making choices about which blade of grass might be better than the other one and then choosing whichever one they think is best to eat now if you want to be free range like these guys here because everyone wants to be a free range cow you probably don't want the farmhands over at google spying on each and every nice blade of grass that you choose to consume because then what they're going to do is they're just going to cut up all of that grass they're going to package it up they're going to spray it with pesticides and hormones and then they're going to feed it to these knuckleheads here and if you want to keep eating that grass that you love that you're so nostalgic for you're going to have to stick your head through the gate and consume the grass with the rest of these guys and you know smell the farts and all that stuff so let's learn how to be a better free range cow that google cannot corral as easily so uh like i said google search is probably uh the most popular service or web app that google provides uh, it's pretty much how they got started, you know, by giving better search results than the other search engines that existed at the time. Um, so if you're satisfied with Google search results, then you can use Start Page. Okay, so this is basically a way for you to get the same thing. They fetch search, search results uh, from Google. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's search for apples. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Um, now notice how it gives me all of this irrelevant stuff first. You know, it's of course going to give a whole bunch of ads about Apple products when I'm searching for apples. Like, I don't know what Google's thinking. Maybe we're like a 80 year old man who's like, oh, I'm gonna go get one of them their apples, one of their apples phones. No, like if I'm searching apples, obviously I'm talking about the fruit. Um, so yeah, like if we go to images, uh, there we go. It knows what we're talking about. It's just trying to show us ads. And, you know, here we didn't get that. We actually got the fruit. And then if we go to images, you see it's pretty much the same results. Uh, they might be in a slightly different order, like this one's second, and, uh, you know, that one's first, and then this one's second, that one's first. So they might be in a different order, but ultimately you're getting the same data. You're getting the same search results. Now, of course, if you aren't satisfied with Google's results, and there's plenty of reasons not to be, uh, like for example, if you're trying to search up anything uh, political, they tend to get a little bit biased, you know, they kind of color it with their lens. Um, so if you don't like their search results, you can of course use Surex, uh, or you could use DuckDuckGo. Uh, there's many alternative search engines, uh, but let's say that you are satisfied with the Google results, but you wanna go a step further uh, than just using start page because maybe you don't want to just shift the burden of trust from um, you know Google to start page maybe you want to host your own Google uh, or something like that and not your own Surex which isn't quite the same thing there is uh, this Google search um, so I haven't actually tried this out on my own uh, so I'm probably going to end up making another video about this once I have time to set this up and uh, actually test it out and if I get fruitful results just look out for a video about that but Google is a way for you to get Google search results without uh, any of their ads so if you try to search for apples this is such a good example. You're actually going to get what you're looking for uh, and not an ad to go buy an Apple phone at the Galleria Mall. No ads, no tracking. You don't have to store Google's cookies. It's also uh, supposedly working without JavaScript, which kind of got me thinking about Tor because 
Google, uh, if you haven't experienced this, is a complete pain in the ass to use on Tor. They basically give you a whole bunch of CAPTCHAs because they think you're a bot trying to, like, I don't know, DDoS Google service or something like that. Um, so you have to go through all of that if you're using Tor. Um, and if JavaScript isn't required for the front end, then this could actually end up being a really good search engine to use uh, since disabling JavaScript completely or at least running as little JavaScript as possible is a very good security technique uh, when using Tor to try and uh, harden your session a little bit more. Uh, even though a lot of site admins still don't design their Tor sites to work correctly with JavaScript. Uh, so. Be on the lookout for a video about this uh, in the future, or you can be one of the first cows to go out to the Hoogle pastures and tell us what it's like. Uh, so there are some options for the search engine, uh, but what about the browser? Well, you're probably using Chrome, right? Google Chrome, uh, but you could be using Chromium, which doesn't have Google's black claws gripped around it as much. Uh, you could even go a step further if you're uh, really not using a lot of Google services by using un-Google Chromium. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of difficulty uh, with some of Google services. For example, I was enabled to cast videos um, open inside of un-Google Chromium to my Chromecast, uh, but Chromium and all of the uh, other forks of it for the most part uh, are open source projects uh, that Chrome, Chrome is one of the things born out of it. So you can think of uh, Chromium as like, I guess the parent and then uh, Chrome and uh, what else is there? Brave and the, all kinds of other browsers, like probably about 90% of browsers in this day and age uh, are based on Chrome. Uh, better yet, instead of any type of other uh, Chromium flavor, you could use Firefox, which is Pretty much apples to apples compared to Chrome. Um, that's actually what I have uh, open up here, Firefox. 98% um, or so of the same plugins available on Chrome are available on Firefox and the performance is pretty much the same. Plus Firefox is actually a different web browser with a different engine, unlike all of those other Chromium forks, Brave, Edge, so on and so forth. Um, now, finally, YouTube. Okay, so I am saving uh, this consumption option only for those that have consumed the whole video up to this point. So the fight for alternative YouTube front ends has been going good and bad in a number of ways. Uh, so it's good because now there are a whole lot of options. YouTube DL was probably, it probably still is the most popular way to uh, download and view YouTube videos without going through the browser. Uh, but of course, this is the same mechanism used by uh, like MPV and a lot of other apps that sort of like play YouTube from the command line, as you'll see in a little while. Um, but for a while, they were being threatened by uh, DMCA takedown, and they even had to delete their GitHub repo for a bit, but that's been resolved. Um, so now you can use um, apps that depend on it, like MPV. So like, for example, uh, just copy that link and bring over a terminal window just type MPV plus the link and uh, give it a second to start and bam, uh, let's just mute me so that we don't have double speak going on. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's a way that you can uh, literally watch like a YouTube video. Um, you can of course like pause it, fast forward, uh, and then it'll buffer a bit and then pick up the video um, where it left off in the buffer. So yeah, that's one option. There's also alternative front ends for YouTube like SM2. And I'm actually not 100% sure whether this depends on YouTube DL or if it has its own method for fetching videos. Uh, but yeah, this is another option for consuming YouTube without an account or um, uh, I guess without having to deal with uh, browser tracking. Uh, you even get the same kind of videos uh, that show up. So I have mine for some reason configured to open with VLC. Um, but yeah, same kind of videos that show up on the front end. Like I think this is a uh, Mr. Beast or a Mr. Beast gaming video. Uh, so yeah, if you're really into the algorithm consuming, uh, you can literally do that in a safer way with SMTube. Now, unfortunately, YouTube has uh, added an age restriction for more and more videos and for some people out there, they actually have to prove their age by showing their ID to Google, uh, which is really creepy if you ask me. I usually uh, don't even have to, 
ID to buy alcohol. So <laughs> IDing to literally just watch a uh, Leo recap seems pretty dumb to me. Uh, however, uh, this might be able to solve your problem here. So uh, which tab was it? This one here, YouTube DL or YT uh, DLP. Um, so this is pretty much, and, and even then, this doesn't work 100% of the time, but I've had the most success with this uh, bypassing the age restriction thing for videos that I don't, well, I, I usually don't watch a whole lot of different kinds of videos on my, like on my YouTube channel or when I'm signed into my YouTube channel, just because I don't want my recommendations to get all uh, stupid. Um, so yeah, like this uh, kind of seems to work for most, like... Um, Let's see. Yeah, so it, um, I don't think there's any way to actually uh, play the videos live, but um, yeah, so it does work. I'm not gonna play uh, too much of his video because I don't know what kind of license he has. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Ways to use Google services without Google using you.